Hello and welcome back. Yes. So now we must edit a record. How do we do that exactly? Hmm. Well, spoiler alert, it's actually quite easy. So what I will do is uh, I just want to create a new function that will edit. So we will do this. What have I done here? Okay, there we go. So delete customer instead let's say edit customer and we supply the div the id rather so once we do this all we want to do is read the data but we don't want to delete it we just want to edit it like that mm -hmm. so in this one i'll have the edit customer view this is where we view the editing process but once we are done, I want to send to another controller that actually does the editing update. Or maybe let's just say edit customer. The other one will be update customer. I don't know. That's You can choose what you want to name these things. Only thing is we have found the data that we are looking for in here. We'll assume we have at least. Okay. So also when you are listing things like where we are listing here, where we do it for each loop. It's always a good idea to actually check if this exists so at if is set data like so uh, that just kind of seems uh, like a good idea to do and say and if over here like so okie dokie let's push everything into like so and it's always a good idea to make sure you haven't broken anything and it seems we have not alrighty then so here what I want is to be able to view that one record and edit it so back to the controller instead of redirecting here I want to return a view which is something similar to this but I want to read the data oh we already did read the data so return and let's put that here so return a view and this is the edit customer with one s oh i mean without the s yeah my bad so instead of result we're going to use data because uh, that's what we uh, we are using here so once we find the customer we're just sending it to the view very good so now the view does not exist so of course we will go to our views new view and here let's save this one as uh, what do we call it uh, edit customer edit customer dot blade because blade is awesome dot php like that then let's put our html and just say edit the customer and down here let's add a form of some kind now the form just looks like actually why did i suffer here because i could have just copy everything from add customer and come to uh, edit customer and just replace everything right here just change this to edit customer and everything should suffice this one will be geared it make sure the csrf uh, token exists as well then everything will be editable here and save will be there so pretty much looks the same the only thing here is that we need some values because otherwise uh, it's going to look a bit weird now we need a link to the edit of course so i will go to the list customer.blade.com here the same way we did uh, this delete i am going to duplicate it inside here and do the edit so i'll start with edit i think that makes more sense and then i'll put a separator here either a pipe or a dot will do and then this one will go to edit customer with exactly the same content there so Let's give it a shot. If I refresh and there's edit and delete. So let me click edit. Page not found, edit customer. You don't say. Okay, so why was it found? That's usually, obviously, 
a routing problem. So let's come to routing here. Uh, it seems we haven't added a router at all. So I'll say edit here and change that to edit as well. Yeah, that should work. Refresh and there we go. Here did customer, but it would be nice to have actual values here that were sent, that were um, part of the edit, of course. So I'm going to go to edit customer.blade and add a very simple thing here. I just want to add a value. In the value, I will do this, do that. And then I'm going to say data. Uh, what's this one? Name, like so. That should actually work. Ah, there you see. Very good. So let's copy that. And let me copy the whole value thingy and put it here. Mm, where do I put it? Right there. And this one as well. I'll put it right there. So this one is the email and this one is age. Age like that. Let's refresh. Yeah, but what if uh, we don't actually find anything? So what happens? Let me put a value that does not exist. Okay, so it's saying trying to access array offset of value uh, of type no, right? Hmm. So this item is a no, isn't it? Hmm. So what we can do is we can go to the controller just to be safe here. And we know the values that uh, we want there. So I'm just going to say if not data like that. So let's see if uh, this if statement will work. So let's just echo uh, no. Oh, we will not do anything. Right, right, right. Hmm. Okay, so if not data, what we will do is just create some empty values here. I'll just say empty like so. Duplicate a few times, uh, say uh, email and say a like this. That way uh, we avoid the errors on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we have empty, uh, not found, yeah? Or what we could do instead is uh, use the if statement on the other side. So I'm just going to delete this because this is not a good idea. If you don't want to edit stuff uh, better, we ignore it completely. So let's go to edit data here. And all I want to do is check if uh, customer exists so I'm going to say at if if data like so yeah and then let's do and if like that but then duplicate this and do else if oh wait a minute just else is enough Ugh got carried away there so yeah let's do this I'm going to copy this and put it here and just say something like uh, sorry that customer could not be found yes something like this refresh sorry that customer could not be found we should probably put a back button somewhere but we can always click back like so edit customer refresh and just click edit Ooh, okay that is uh, valid and click edit here that is valid but if we add something that does not exist sorry that customer could not be found very good so now we can edit uh, one of these so i just want to change something here and see if it will be editable now, the important thing here also is to add a hidden value because we want to be able to know uh, wh what to edit, right? What's the ID? So type is hidden here. And then I want a value for this hidden thing. And the value will come from the data ID. So I'll put this here and just change this to ID like so. Okay, so that's great. But we need a name for it as well. I don't know why I removed that. And this one is ID. 
Okay, great. So now that we have that, if we come back here, uh, also the form here, the type uh, method is post, of course, but I want it to go to a different uh, controller. So what I will do is I'm just going to say action is equal to um, update customer, like that, okay? Update customer, that's where it will go. So if you have another URL, you can put your slashes and all that if the URL is longer, but it isn't in our case. So I'm just going to copy this, go to our uh, controllers here, uh, our routes, add a post route here, so duplicate that, do that. Yes, yes, okay, good. So then we can go now to the controller and add that one. So I just say function. Now you could use the same uh, controller, but the same function, but uh, I think it's better to keep them separate. That way it's easier to debug. And of course I will put request here as Rick so that I can get the values that I want. So it's pretty much the same as what we did here. So we can go ahead and validate our content, copy that. So I can just copy everything from the add just change a few things. So we validate our content, make sure everything is good, create a new customer and replace the values and hit save. In fact, it's actually exactly the same. So if we do it this way, the way we've done it like here, it's just going to insert a new record, but uh, we don't want to insert a new record here. We want to get uh, a record that, uh, a record that already uh, exists. Okay, so here uh, the ID we're not going to validate because that's just the ID. So what I will do instead is do this. Mm -hmm. Let's read. So we're going to say uh, data, which is the result. So data is equal to uh, cas here. Let's read uh, from it and say find. So let's find this guy. And in the find, we're going to use the ID. So I'll put that there and just put ID. Okay, requested ID. And then I might just say if data, just to make sure, you know, you never know these things. And I will move this down here. So if the data is there, okay, uh, everything is validated, the data is there, then we replace this with data. So data name, boom, boom, and hit save. That should work. So let's come back here, a refresh. And all I want to do is just put Mary two there, like so, and hit uh, save. Let's see what happens. Oh, post method is not supported for this route. You don't say update customer. Oh, I see. See, these are the problems we create. So it's because I went to, let's go to the edit customer blade. It's the route here, the action, which is a problem. So what I will do is convert this into a valid URL so it doesn't concatenate to the end as it is doing. I'll put that in a single quotes. In fact, I should have put that in brackets, then single quotes like that, and then put URL here. Okay, great. That should work. Refresh. And let's put a two there. Save. Okay, so you can see the two has been updated as intended. Okay, so we can now edit, we can delete, and we can create new. So the circle is complete. Let's add Peter back. We like to pick on Peter. Let's uh, give him some slack. Save. Peter is here. Okay, so we can do all this. And now it's time for us to learn the other methods of reading and writing to the database. This has been the model version where we use the model to do things, but uh, there are other ways uh, like the query builder or just typing uh, actual queries directly. So we're going to see that in future videos. I will see you in the next one.